<laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Can you keep it down a bit? Speech. Yes. Speech. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Look, um, I'm, I'm delighted to go okay tonight to the Red Art Centre for Tom's opening, um, for Tom's, the opening of Tom's, Alice in Red We love having Tom here. I, I, I'd just like to tell you that there are two other events um, uh, tied into this opening. One is on Saturday at 2 o'clock, Tom will give a lecture about this um, exhibition. And uh, I mean, each of these pieces, as I'm sure Paul will be telling you, uh, is an amazing stuff, the work that's gone into them and the stories. So sign up with Aileen if you want to go to it, because uh, he's only going to do it for a limited amount of people. And on Monday night at 7 o'clock, um, uh, Paul Dwan's uh, film, uh, Who Do You Think I Am, uh, which stars Tom as a barman, <laughs> is on there at 7 o'clock. And so there are two things. Also, if you look at our website, you will find out all the wonderful things that go on here in the Renna Arts Centre and other exhibitions coming up. Etc. Now, I uh, do you remember the Kelty Tiger? Well, it was a kind of a very strange time in Ireland that seeing a, a, a kind of a, a few, uh, uh, one or two politicians and a couple of economists, very few people in the art world made any comment on it. But there was one great exception, and that was the funniest thing that you could ever read, the diary of Ross Carroll O'Kelly, and it just kept us pinching ourselves, could this be actually happening in our own dear little country? And uh, I, I know Declan Lynch recently in the Sun Independent said that he must be the funniest person writing in Ireland at the moment, and we're so very pleased to have him here tonight to launch his friend's uh, exhibition. So, a big hand for Paul Howard. Thanks very much for that lovely introduction. <laughs> when you asked, did anybody remember the Celtic Tiger and there was uh, a silent reaction, I thought you might be about to blame me for it. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't my fault, I can assure you of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my uh, great pleasure and indeed uh, my great privilege uh, to have been asked by Tom Matthews to launch this new exhibition here in the heart of Dublin 6, or as the locals call it, Dublin 4.5. <laughs> <laughs> <Four A. laughs> that's, uh, that's something that's worthy of Lewis Carroll himself. <laughs> Um, some of you may or may not know, and I, I only know because Tom told me the other night that this year marks the 150th uh, anniversary of the first publication of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, and Tom has chosen this year uh, as the hook for an exhibition um, of, uh, for the, uh, of the wonderful art that you see around the walls here. That has been nine months, I'm told, in gestation. Uh, Tom told me it was the same uh, length of time it takes uh, for a baby to grow in the womb, which is how I remembered it was nine months. Um, I asked Tom the other night uh, why he chose Alice as his muse for this exhibition, and he told me that more than any other writer, Lewis Carroll inspired him to think the way he does about the world. I've been a fan of Tom's art, and also a fan of Tom's, really, for about 25 years since we were both freelancers working for uh, the Sunday Tribune back in the day and we were both trying, often unsuccessfully, to get paid by that organization. I was drawn to Tom's work because of his slightly askew way of looking at life. More than anything else, it was Tom's father reading him uh, the two uh, Alice books when he was a child that inspired the love of the absurd, the fascination with surrealist art, 
and the love of wordplay that define Tom's work as Ireland's funniest cartoonist. The works you see around the walls here tonight combine the wit and flavour of not just one great artist, but two. Tom has taken the characters and set pieces from a work of nonsense fantasy brimming with symbolism and added some nonsense and fantasy and symbolism of his own. Like Lewis Carroll's writing, these pieces you see here are full of world, world word play, visual clues, palindromes, anagrams and puns. And I'm sure we're all going to be here until four o'clock in the morning uh, discussing and trying to figure them all out. You'll notice also that Tom has drawn on uh, a great many of his other artistic influences in his life. Influences as wide ranging and disparate as, as Oscar Wilde, Mickey Mouse, René Magritte and John Lennon. And also Groucho Marx, another of Tom's great heroes, who once said that humour is reason gone mad. Tom, who's behind me, <laughs> more than any artist, reminds me of that sentiment. Thir 33 years ago, in the introduction to his first collection of cartoons, Tom described cartoonists thus. A nicer bunch of wiseacre deadbeats and potential alcoholics you couldn't hope to meet outside the walls of Alcatraz. <laughs> and Tom, I'm going to turn that compliment around on you tonight by saying, hear, hear. <laughs> it's always a joy to spend time in your company, Tom, and you are uh, the finest of artists and the finest of men, and it is my great pleasure tonight to declare Alice in Ranala open. <laughs> One moment. Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, that's, that was such a wonderfully touching speech. I had to present you, as indeed I am, with this wonderful oh, print. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.